Hey everybody, Coach Gay here with another Think About It Thursday. So every single week, I want to bring you a new topic of some of life's most common um, things that we kind of go through, but maybe we don't know how to properly navigate them. So if you didn't catch it last week, we talked about staying focused within your relationship. And if you missed that one, make sure you go back and catch that replay. You do not want to miss that. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the page and turn on those notifications so you don't miss whenever one of these videos are uploaded. Now, I am bringing you a, who this is a broad spectrum topic. This could be talked about for hours on end, but I am not going to talk your head up, I promise you. We're going to talk about self-esteem. Yes, hot topic for sure. Now, I'm going to only give you kind of a beginning part of this. If you want to get into that full dive, you make sure you stay tuned so you can get in on those mini courses and we can take you through the full gamut because I want to make sure that you have all of the tools that you need to have a successful and happy life. So let's dive in. When it comes to self-esteem, that is something that is established almost way back when we're too young to even recognize that we're establishing it. It comes in the form of who tells us that we're beautiful, who gives us the kudos, who's upfront and honest with us, who's transparent with us. And to be honest, I will say, sometimes it's not always about the, hey, you're cute or you look good, more than that person that's always going to be transparent with you and let you know when something is right, when something is wrong, when something is nice, when something is bad. Those are the things that help to create our own self-esteem. Now, yes, self-esteem does come with the outer um, exterior. So when we are growing up and our elders are saying, oh, you're such a beautiful little girl. I love you so much. Those are the things that we absorb and we start to build our confidences around that. So think about just the opposite of that. If there is a child who is never told that they are great, they're never told of the good things they do, but they're definitely always made fully aware of when something is wrong or when they don't look their best. Guess what? That is going towards their self-esteem. That is where they're building their foundation of who they are going to be in this world that we're um, going into. So three things that I want to just talk about really quickly about self-esteem. It is a learned behavior. Now, it is not where someone sits us down and like I'm talking to you, I'm kind of giving you information. It's a learned behavior in the things that we see, how we absorb the things around us and what is given to us. So we always have to be very cautious and careful how we are and what we say around our youth because they're little sponges. And everything that we pour into them is what they're going to be in the world. They're building their self-esteem. So we're either going to help that process or hinder it. So we always want to make sure we're helping it. Now, self-esteem that is pretty low at a certain point, it can be built up. So that is the amazing thing about self-esteem. While... It can be destroyed. It can be built up as well. And that goes into my third point where it is the company that you keep. So growing up, you know, you're not always able to have full control of who's around you because it's our parents and our elders. That who puts people in our lives. And therefore, we don't have much control of who we have in our space, in our company. But as we get older and we start to realize that, you know what, being around this certain group of people does not make me feel fulfilled internally or does not make me feel happy, then it becomes up to us to remove ourselves from that situation. So I will say, just growing up in a time, you know, 80s and 90s where it was big to be around your family all the time and 
I love it. You know, I love being around family, but we also have to remember that our family is a lot of where we get our establishment from. So while we love our family, we always want to make sure that we're there for our family. We also have to be very, very cautious of which family members that we allow to help shape and build our foundation, which becomes our self-esteem. It is severely important that we not only take care of our outer selves, but we definitely take care of our inner selves. And that is a part of our self-esteem. If you are in the presence of someone who's always telling you that you're stupid, you're dumb, you're an idiot, you can't do anything right, eventually you start to internalize that and that is something that you believe in. That diminishes and brings down that self-esteem. It is very hard to get out of that situation, but guess what? It can be done. I am super excited and so happy to bring you all of my mini courses that are coming out because in those mini courses, we dive into topics just like this and we also get solutions and tools of how we can overcome those things. So if there's any topic that you would like to discuss here on this platform for our Think About it Thursday, drop it right there in the comments. If there's something that you want to offer just to help someone who may be reading or watching this, absolutely drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you about the things that you want to learn about and your perspective. Because as your clinical sexologist, my ears and eyes are open to you. Again, if you're not comfortable with dropping it in the comments, it's okay. You can always text or call me and tell me about the topic that you would like to discuss. And that number is 804-967-4551. Or you can simply just shoot me an email at info at loveandintimacy101.com. That's love, A-N-D, intimacy, number 101.com. I am your clinical sexologist, Coach K. And I'm super excited to bring you this topic this week. If you want to learn more, keep in touch. Don't forget, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on because next week we have a new topic. You all enjoy the rest of your day. And this has been me for another Think About It Thursday. Goodbye.